imagine being able to have your ideal weight and change your eating habit for the better? Being able to feel more confident and rejuvenated every day you wake up. The freshman 15 is real and it's harder to lose weight than gain it. So why not help yourself in the long run? Generally, people who are in the healthy range of body mass index feel better and more in sync with life. And after performing a study here at ISU, we have an abundance of knowledge on the problem and have brought the most efficient team to work towards a better understanding of the solution. There is a solution for feeling, for feeling sluggish and felt left behind. It's called adopting a healthy diet. Proper portion control and eating healthier are a couple of approaches to this problem and are things you can maintain to here on campus. An article titled Obesity and Overweight, What You Should Know, written by the National Kidney Foundation, has discussed and researched the possible outcomes for being overweight. According to the previous article, if you're overweight or are obese, you have a greater chance of, of developing diabetes or high blood pressure, which are leading causes of kidney disease and kidney failure. Feeling self-conscious, depressed, and having anxiety are also side effects of being overweight. The article further discussed the reason why, such as poor diet, poor food choices, and family history. We have conducted our own study to find out why being overweight is so common on college campuses. What we have found in our data is that 33% of students are typically eating three meals per day. It is also startling but that 29% of students are eating at the Sycamore Towers, with the comments in second at 24%. Previously stated the freshman 15 is real, and eating between fast food at the commons and sub sandwich and pasta at the Sycamore Towers three times per day is a dangerous diet to have. While only 19% of students are eating in their dorm room and 20% are eating at the quad, which are two of the generally healthier options on campus. This data demonstrates that lack of control over one's diet and weight. Our research isn't just limited to ICU. According to Obesity on Campus, written by Phyllis, Phillips B. Spar Sparling, during the past two decades, a significant increase in obesity and obesity-related disorders such as type 2 diabetes, hypertension, has occurred among people in their teens. There are many reasons why people are compulsively eating in contrast to being at home. Some reasons being college students are being bombarded with assignments, midterms, and downtimes. 64.1 students surveyed, surveyed said their eating habits have changed since college. Coming from a more structured and scheduled eating pattern to a you're on your own can be very hard to manage at first. If students came up with a diet plan and worked to eat things that are healthier for them, they would feel more in control. Since gaining the freshman 15 is prominent on college campus, the National Kidney Foundation have come up with multiple ways to combat obesity. Behavioral modification techniques such as keeping a food diary of everything you eat. This is beneficial because college students are overstimulated and can forget what they, are, what they ate and might overeat the day. So keeping a diary can help you organize your eating habits. Next, shop from a list and do not shop when you're hungry. This is helpful because when we are hungry, we overestimate what we can handle for that day. But keeping a list helps you to maintain structure and balance. Lastly, take a different route when you're usually passed by a tempting fast food place. Trying to lose weight using, um, using willpower doesn't usually work. Taking a different route can help you find other options and help you feel like you're in control. Therefore, in conclusion, Gaining the freshman 15 and being overweight are realistic issues among all college students and at the university and have many negative outcomes pertaining to diseases, mental health, and performance. The main reason for students' weight gain in reference to the survey is because of how often people snack in between meals and eating at least three times throughout the day, most commonly at the Sigma Towers with the comments in second. There are ways to combat obesity, like keeping a diary, making a list, and finding a different route. The best way to lose weight on campus is to start now and don't wait for the perfect opportunity. I challenge you to make healthier decisions and turn that frown upside down by losing a few pounds.